Why are you from Track Trailers? Bear, how are you, I'm buddy? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm fantastic, thanks for asking. You'd want to be fantastic, too, because you're oh, just releasing the, the new T van. New. Yeah. Mark 5. Mark 5. Mark 5. Five after, generations. After all these years. Close to 19 years at the moment. Wow. Yeah, we're ticking them up. Unbelievable. Mate, what do we... Look at this. I mean, we've done... <laughs> Heaps. This is really a brand Absolutely. new T van, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. We're looking at over 250 sheet metal changes. We're looking at a new tent. We're looking at a new roof. We're looking at new awning. Um, yeah, you basically got to start at the bottom of the list from feedback of customers over the last 20 years and just start ticking off the comments. You've made so many things just so much simpler but stayed with that great T van principle. Absolutely. It still looks like a T van in the same way every G, every uh, generation of a BMW or a Porsche looks the same. But uh, it's definitely changed. It's evolved. It's, it's evolved, absolutely. Yep. So I'll start at the front end. Yep. We've got a front boot on here that's got half a dozen different configurations. So you can have fridges on either side or longer fridges on this side or shelves for carrying things. You can dual vent and dual power, which is pretty cool. Excellent. We've got the kitchen. This is the premium kitchen. This hasn't changed since the Mark IV, but... Just, Why would you? <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> it is an excellent kitchen. Absolutely. No and I love that the, the drop-down lift-up uh, wind... Windshield, yeah. Windshield. It's, it's it is a phenomenal great. piece of kit. It is. Um, and obviously, you can have a more basic version of this in the lower models. Okay. And the idea of that is a lot of people have their own existing camping equipment, yep. and then they can incorporate that into the van without having to lose the storage space that this kitchen would take up. Absolutely. So, continuing, you've probably noticed a new quick cover awning. I love it. I love it. And this is just the quick cover, but this is permanently attached to the, to the trailer. Yep, absolutely. And it folds out in three minutes. It's quicker than an awning on a car. It is. It's really, really easy. It's that back wing style of things and that yeah. uh, European wasp won't hurt you too much at all, mate. <laughs> so <you're> right. <laughs> does that. So it pivots out from both ends, yep. covering the full kitchen area um, and obviously it can attach to the tent when you set that up fully. Excellent. So probably the keen eyed person would notice that we haven't even bothered setting this up. No. And in fact, the deck and the hatch are up in the sky. Um, that's our new Skywood rear lift up deck. And we've done that predominantly to speed up setups and pack ups and uh, at the end of the day you can now get into the back of it with a push of a button. Yep. So um, we've done away with that concept that you have to fold out an entire camper to gain access to your bed and storage. We've made it push a button and you're in. And you know what? The configuration we're in at the moment, if you're pulling up for lunch on the side of the road, you can be set up like this in five minutes. Absolutely. And full it? access to the inside, the kitchen, the outside, your fridge, everything. the whole lot. Yeah, and the tent right. doesn't get in your way. No. And obviously, that, I mean, that's a T-van philosophy, isn't it? We've always had the hard shell and the bed inside the middle protected. Yep. And now we've just taken away that canvas so that it just heads up towards the sky when you don't need it. Yep. And it's a hard shell to retain that rigidity right through the whole unit as well. Absolutely, isn't it? you hit yeah. the nail on the head there. And so a lot of people might have thought that the interior of a T van is a little bit lower. Good news for them, we've actually raised it by about 100 mil at the bed head end, and we've narrowed out all of the sheet metal that enters the van. And with the optional sliding glass windows, you stare in there and it is quite a space now. Mm. It is beautiful inside. And obviously by playing around with the roof, we've been able to upgrade the solar capacity now. So we're rocking 120 watts worth of solar on the roof. Wow. And all the power systems in the van have changed across the entire models. So we're now coming standard with a 21 amp charger, a 25 amp DC to DC charger on everything Tanami up. And this particular van, because well, why not go the whole hog? We've actually got lithium in the back. Ah, uh, why not? So why not? 290 amp batteries, which are equivalent to 126 amp AGM. It AGMH. really is the way to go, isn't it? Lots oh. of power. And of course, two things you need when you're on the road and you're out the back of nowhere, yep. power and water. Absolutely. And this one here is even rolling with twin tanks. It's got a 108 litre water tank standard on every model, and that's at the rear. But this one's got a 70 litre sitting up the front. So what we did then is we thought, okay, we're starting to get a whole heap of options. Let's try and make sure that you can carry the additional weight. So this van's also been upgraded to the 1.8 tonne suspension. That being said, that gives it 550 kilos worth of payload. But realistically, you probably have 450 if you didn't opt for it. Yeah, so but the amount of junk I carry around, mate, with fishing gear and all the rest of absolutely. it, I'll tell you what, you, you do need that carrying capacity. Yeah. And not to mention just filling up the fridges. Yeah, and look, that, that's what makes the T-Van so great. You can pick any model at any configuration, and typically they roll off the line about one ton flat yep. with approximately 500 kilos payload. There's not much on the market like that. Yep. So it's a whole float like a butterfly kind of thing going here. Um, and it does float like a butterfly too with that typical long-standing 
C band suspension as well. Yeah, the MC2 asymmetric link. There's nothing else like it in the industry, and we've been able to, we've been able to stand by it for, geez, more than 20 plus years as yeah. we did all of that design work for the Australian military. That's track proven, no doubt about it. Absolutely. But the, the rear end is just amazing. You've done yeah. it a whole heap of differences back there. Absolutely, like a bikini clad model on the beach. The, the <laughs> rear of this T-van looks just, it's on cue. We've got the best gear on it. I'm worried and, about where you're going with this. <laughs> look, we've, we've been into camping for a long time and I'm not gonna lie to you, we're a bit special. Um, but, but the rear of this has been updated. We've now done our own tail light design. We've changed the entire deck so it's a different material with integrated deck legs. We've got the ability to fit max tracks on the back. Mm -hmm. and you can have up to four of those for recovery, which is phenomenal. New pickup points on the rear if you need to winter out backwards. And then just, you know, because we get bored, we've gone and put Griptex powder coat all over the rear deck. So you can fold it down and walk around on it without sliding around. But even just the ease of dropping the tent and packing it up again, you've really come up with some new stuff there. I've absolutely. never seen the magnetic hatches or clips <laughs> that you've got now. Yeah, look, wow. absolutely. Um, we've been trialing it for quite some time now and we've brought out these new magnet clips for our canvas tent. So that allows us to both store it away very easily because you just need to get the magnet within Kui and it auto clicks and then you can adjust and pull up the strap. So we've taken away any sense of effort when you're unpacking or packing away the tent. It should be the easiest step it's ever been, and it's all because of continual development and customer feedback that we've been able to achieve this. Wow, mate, you know what? I'm gonna make a prediction. I reckon there's gonna be a lot of used T-vans on the market soon, and a lot of <laughs> other used camper trailers as well, because when people see this, they're going to want to upgrade, aren't they? Yeah, and look, for a cunning person, they should head to our website. We've got a classified section on there. So anyone who wants to upgrade to a Mark V can uh, advertise their Mark IV as a part of that right there. <laughs> and you can help them out, no worries. Absolutely. Track Trailers, give us the website. www.tracktrailer.com. Mate, I've you. got to say, congratulations, and it's great to see product innovation like this, fully Australian made designed, made, manufactured, sold and serviced in Australia. Yeah, and it's a, it's a hard thing to do these days, but we want to continue to create a premium, seriously off-road product for the discerning buyer. And, you know, with five years chassis and suspension warranty, three years on body and build, we believe we are the market leader and we inspire all those to come up to our level. Give us a rough price range. Okay, so the T-Van Mark V is going to start around your mid to low 50s and top out you know, it really just comes down to what you would like. So yep. come in, start ticking the boxes to find the things that suit you. Don't buy the stuff you've already got because at the end of the no day, point. you can incorporate that into here nice and easily. Absolutely. And the best part is anything generally that you buy with your van or miss out on, you can upgrade on your van from that same model. And you know what? what? Retrofitting as well. Absolutely. And even with this new power system, because we've got things like DC to DC chargers standard, you could then later decide you'd like to fork up the extra money to buy lithium batteries if you want yeah. to save a couple of kilos and you don't have to play around with the electrics. I stress that, it's just a straight plug and play of the batteries and you're gone. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> These guys are actually pretty smart, yeah. just the way they dress them. Thanks yeah. Lloyd. Thank you Ben. <laughs> Good on you mate. Have a great day. I will. <laughs>